So occasionally I'll hear this comment, um, I don't need to do keto because I'm not fat. Because keto is for fat people. Well, actually it's for everyone. Keto, if done correctly, and I'm talking about the healthy version of it, is not really a diet. It is just a healthy way of eating. So there's something called skinny fat. Thin on the outside, but fat on the inside. Many thin people have visceral fat that is around the liver, it's around the organs, and they have no idea. So adults that have a BMI of less than 18.5, so they're not that overweight, are at a 1.8 times greater risk of dying than people with a greater than 18.5 BMI, okay? People that are more overweight. I think what happens is this. If a person's uh, genetics are such that they, they can pretty much eat whatever they want and they never gain weight, um, they don't even maybe exercise, they just don't get fat, um, they, they would tend to eat pretty much whatever they want. In fact, I'm that person. In college and in high school, I had no real physical symptoms. I had no weight problems. I ate whatever I want and I ate really bad foods. But it caught up to me. And what I want to do with this video is just kind of increase your awareness that just because you don't have a weight problem, you may want to still do keto. Don't wait for a motivation to change your diet and start eating healthy. Um, even though your genetics are good, um, there's other things that go on deeper inside. So if you were to get an ultrasound of your liver, you may find there's fat in your liver and despite everything else looking good. But the point of doing keto is to lower insulin. And high insulin is behind so many health problems, including chronic inflammation, all sorts of problems with the eyes, from the nerve of the eye that affects the vision, and to the lens, to the pressure of the eye, to floaters, to the ability to see, and then your liver becomes fattier with high levels of insulin. The arteries are affected. Now realize it takes time for this to happen. So uh, one of the first symptoms of a heart attack over 50% of the time is death. There is no symptom. So you wanna be proactive, but what happens with high levels of insulin is it starts to destroy the inside of the artery, you get inflammation, you start getting placking and calcium buildup. One of the best tests that you can do would be called a coronary artery calcium test, okay? CAC. Next time you're at your doctor's, get this test, see where you are at. It should be a zero, okay? You don't want any calcium in your arteries, especially in the coronary arteries. Okay, fatigue is a big one, especially after you eat. Your mood is somewhat lowered, okay? Memory is affected by high insulin. You start forgetting things. But again, these symptoms many times take years to develop. Um, in fact, dementia takes 30 years to develop. It starts off small and it gradually gets worse and worse and worse. All right, guys, so the summary of this video is to don't just wait till you get fat. Do something proactive. Start doing healthy keto to keep this insulin in check. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?